Do you echo Rachel Maskell's concerns about the policing operation here? Well, yeah, of course. Um, I come from the southeast region uh, where we've had our own share of fracking uh, protest at Balkan. And um, I'm very concerned about the sort of intimidation that people who are just ex sort of trying to protest peacefully actually coming in from the police and from the government. Now, you're an MEP. Is there anything that you can actually do about that? Well, actually, I'm working at the moment in the European Parliament with um, the Commission's review uh, an update of its fracking guidelines. They, they, they were introduced a couple of years ago um, and then if, uh, part of the introduction was that they will be uh, examined again and that's what we're at stage right now of just doing that. I'm hoping for a plainer European uh, set of instructions and guidelines um, for uh, member states to follow. Now whether or not what happened last time was that Britain and Poland interrupted that process and actually watered down uh, the Commission's uh, recommendations. Um, and so I'm hoping that we can actually get common sense prevailing and actually having uh, some clarity both internationally and with the um, Chief Police Officers um, review uh, or introduction of guidelines for fracking protests in this country. Will you be expressing your concerns to the police here today? Because presumably you're here to meet them as well as the protesters. Yeah, well, I think we invited down Assistant Chief Constable from uh, Lancashire, who's the uh, lead for the uh, uh, Chief uh, Police Officer's uh, report guidelines. I don't think he's coming. Um, certainly, I'm always happy to talk to anybody, uh, and the police included. Uh, but here, I'm here to talk uh, principally to the people who are demonstrating and sharing uh, their experiences with me and I've, I've been to fracking protests from Poland to Pennsylvania and so I know the types of issues that face the, the, the community on which, uh, in which these activities are forcefully introduced. Now Bolcom, which is just north of Brighton of course, was uh, obviously something that, that was a very public, there was a lot of trouble between police and protesters. Do you think that what's happening here has the potential to turn into that? Well, that's why here, I'm here to find out. But I've, I've seen a very worrying. Um, it seems to be, as the government has uh, deconstructed the controls on fracking, um, and the police have been given more and more responsibility, um, uh, it seems to be that there's more aggressive uh, uh, tactics being followed here uh, than in Balkan. Uh, but that's what I'm here to find out.